What's up guys, it's Smith here from GamersHeroes.com Got another quick game for today in Nightingale on Augmentations And this is personally for me one of the game's most exciting features It's really unique, it's really innovative So I'm excited to dive into this more Basically whenever you put down a workbench you can hold the craft item So E for example on PC And it will bring up the traits that you have right now So you can see here I'm getting some bonuses to my crafting speed From these traits Now crafting speed in this game is huge There are so many things that you know, take several minutes to make and it's designed that way so that when you get these bonuses on, it feels more normal and it feels rewarding. So you can see here I've got sheltered, well-lit, warm, artisan, all giving me different things. Now, the way these work is there's sort of a multitude of different ways. So if we go in here and we look at the basics and repair stuff, and you can look at all the structures here. So we're going to start on the simple workbench because this one has a crazy amount of augmentations. So you can see here you get valid augmentations are all these ones down here. Now, some of these you can control relatively easily some of them are a bit more complicated so, so far we've not seen 80 percent of these this is just sort of a beginner's intro so you understand how the system works so the very first and simplest one to do for this one is the well lit and the shelter as you can see we've already got the well lit and the shelter augment on here these are applied automatically we've got sheltered because it's it's under a roof so it's not exposed to the elements well lit and warm is literally just because of this candle so just because i put a candle next to this we're getting refinement time decreased by 10 seconds twice so 20 seconds overall for a tiny candle now there's other ways you can do it most of them do appear to be stuff that you can build so the candles for example will give you well lit and warm there are some recipes that you can buy at the essence trader so it's going to be a different map for you but for me it's down here uh, the essence trader there and um, there's an essence trader in the next forest realm you go to as well you can trade more stuff with them there and what they do is they give you more building recipes which is for the augmentations here so you can see here i've got a spit roast and this, if aligned with something properly, will allow you to unlock new recipes for it. So, for example, I get tack. I haven't got the other ones unlocked yet, but it will unlock those as well. So when you put it down, um, you can see here I've just placed one in the middle. This doesn't connect to anything. When you place it down, you'll see a thin green line connecting it to the device that you're linking it to. So this one here particularly, if I go back into the menu here, um, this one augments cooking and enchanting. So obviously the... Um, cooking pot is a cooking section so i put a spit roast over the top of it to augment that and then our enchantment station is over here so i put the spit roast over here so when you're doing it ideally you know in hindsight you want to put all this stuff together right so you can put one spit roast here and it would link up both the campfire and the enchant table if they were close enough so what this does is it unlocks new recipes here so i've got the tack recipe here so putting stuff down is going to be what I think to be the primary way of getting new augmentations. There are other ways you can do it. As I showed you earlier on, one of the ones on this bench is the Artisan ability. Now the Artisan ability is one of the many realm cards that you can get that you then sort of modify the realm, almost apply um, server settings to the realm by offering up the card at the Realmic Transmuter. So you can see here, these are the realm cards, Forest and Abeyance. That sort of determines where I'm going. And you can see the artisan card here. This is all the benefits it gives you. So every crawl we craft while this is in effect gives us a durability plus plus. So primarily the most of the way you're going to get these augments is by putting items near the appropriate stations. Um, secondly, you can find um, buffs and bonuses in the world that will last two or three minutes most of the time. They can enhance certain things as well. And then when you're using the augment cards, they can also have an effect. So this is just a beginner's basic intro to it. I definitely plan to put out a more complex video going into how you get all the different augments once we get there, but just want to throw this out because the game explained it to you earlier on, but it can be quite overwhelming. So guys, nice and quick, nice and easy. Get winning, get back to the game. If we helped you out today, do like, subscribe. We really do appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care now.